So here I am, I'm all on the bike set up. I've got the tent loaded on the back. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go to a campsite so we can get this tent set up and go through the spec on it. So this is the campsite I use quite often. Mill House Caravan and Camping in Worcestershire. It's a lovely little campsite. I've been coming here since I was a kid. We still come back here quite often with the family. Now I know the owners quite well, so they've allowed me to come back today and use the campsite to make this video of the tent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head to the far right of the campsite and there's a lovely little secluded area right by the edge of the river. But I'm going to use that to get the tent set up so I can go through all the specification. So this is my preferred tent, the Slummit Cub 2. Packed down, it's got a length of 70 centimetres by 17 centimetres wide and 17 centimetres high. The tent weighs 3.8 kilograms and it comes in a singular bag. All you need to do is just release the drawstring at the top. There's two secure adjustable straps. You just release those and then you can pull the drawstring loose. And as you can see from the bag, it's quite a wide mouth bag to get the tent in, which makes it ideal packing away and getting the tent out. So inside the bag, I've got my canopy poles. Those are additional to the tent. I've got the canopy cover, which goes over the top. And then obviously I've got my tent pegs. So what I'll do now, I'll just get the tent out the bag. And this is the tent packed up with its grain sheet and fly sheet all in one. Right, let's set the tent up. So all I need to do is just release the center strap, fold the legs out like an umbrella. Each leg has got like a joint you just snap into place. There's four legs, one for each corner. So snap these down. Keeping the center piece vertical whilst you're doing this. Then all we need to do is just lift the center piece up and it's like an umbrella mechanism. It just snaps into place. Just make sure all the legs are out properly and then just position the tent where you want it positioned. So each corner of the tent has a peg in it and then there's two pegs at the front which pull the porch door forward. As you can see there's two of me here, I've managed to clone myself just so I can speed up the process. And then there's one centre peg at the back to pull the back of the tent down and then all that's left then is just to peg your guide ropes. So this is the front porch, all you do is pull the grain sheet with the door and peg it down. Next you can fit the centre canopy cover which just loops into where the tent attaches to the frame. And what this does, this stops any water gathering around the top centre pole and leaking through the tent. So the Slummit Cub 2 is a two berth tent. It's a three season, so you can use it in spring, summer and autumn. I've used a tent in winter in December and it was absolutely fine. The external height is 120 centimetres External width 220 centimetres and external depth is 245 centimetres. So let's just take a look at the exterior of the tent and then I'll go through the specification. The sleeping area height of the tent is 110 centimetres, the width is 200 centimetres and the sleeping area depth is 165 centimetres. The porch is 65 centimetres deep. The frame 
is an exoskeleton frame, so it sits on the outside of the tent. It's solid 8.5mm jointed fiberglass pole with the flash framing technology. There's a double joint, there's one higher up and one lower down. These both fold inwards, which allow the legs to fold back on themselves. All seams on the tent are thermo bonded tape seal for that extra waterproof security. There are two air vents, one each side of the tent, which you can have in the open position or the closed position. All you need to do is just adjust the little Velcro strap. The material itself is 4,000 millimeters hydrostat. So that's the waterproofing of the tent. The average tent is 3,000 millimeters on the market. So this has got that extra layer of security. The inner tent or mosquito net has the grain sheet built into it. It's got a ceiling shelf, which is ideal for putting keys up there. I use it to watch the iPad. There is also four pockets on each side of the tent to put items in there you may need. There is also an air vent at the top of the mosquito net. The door has got its own fly net too, so you can have that open so it becomes breathable and it zips all the way around. The main canopy door is a double zip with a centre window and it's got the rain protected seals over the zip to stop any water entering. Taking the tent down, all you need to do is just take the pegs out. Remove the top centre canopy and then just snap the legs inwards. So you can start with the bottom legs. Once those are in, you can fold it up and then snap the second higher pole and then the legs will fold. So again, it's like an umbrella effect. You fold in each leg all the way to the top. And then all you need to do is roll the tent and you can put the strap around it. Once the tent's packed, all you need to do is just put it back inside the tent bag, pull the drawstring, and then just put your adjusting straps on, just so it can pack the tent down. And that's the Slummit Cub 2. Now I'm a big fan of this tent. I've used this tent loads for motor camping. Here's a little clip of, this was December last year, so we even did camping in December just before Christmas. So I think it was down to about one degrees in the night and the tent was fine. I didn't get any condensation in there. It performed absolutely perfect. The thing I like with the tent is that it's easy to set up and fast and it's easy to pack it away. So that's the Slummit Cub 2 flash frame pitch and pack system. There's three other tents in the range from Slummit, which is the Inca, which is just the one berth. You've got the Gobi 3 being the three berth and the Grizzly 4 which is the four berth. I'll put links below in the video and you never know, we might see you one day on one of our tours camping.